Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to the S uh, Ezri bin Muhammad which is our lecturer so uh, Nur Shamira binti Nur Wasita at matrix A1029 so we are from group 2 to present um, electric communication problem based learning assignment report uh, activity 2 for chapter 4 digital modulation so I will start from the introduction first code modulation which is PCM is a digital digital scheme for transmitting analog data it converts an analog signal into digital form using PCM it is possible to digitize all form of analog data including full motion video voice uh, music telemetry and many more not just that a PCM also one of the most noise resistant transmission method to so, obtain a PCM signal from an analog signal at the source of a communication circuit which is um, commonly a transmitter the analog signal is amplified uh, sample at regular time to interval the sampling rate is several times the maximum frequency of the analog signal the instantaneous ampl amplitude of the analog signal at each sample is round off to the nearest of the several specific predetermined level called quantization the number of quantization uh, level is always the power of 2. This is because the output of a pulse code modulator is a series of binary numbers is represented by some powers of 2 bits. Additionally, the pulse code modulator converts binary numbers back into pulse that has the same quantum level as those in the modulator while signal transmission in the communication circuit occurs. Next, uh, move to objective. The main objective for this activity is gaining the correct result by using MATLAB Sumerian link. Second, every student should be trying and error the MATLAB Sumerian link for understanding how the all block function well. Third, the advantage of digital communication is by the, um, signal regeneration can be more subscriptable to additive noise because of the digital signal does not need amplification uh, in analog. Lastly, this the advantage of digital signal is incompatible with all the transmission technology. So, next my team will continue. Thank you. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nordaina Binti Mama. It's free. My matric numbers is AE1 and 0111. So, no representative for part A. For basically, for the second PBL activity, we need, we need to have deep knowledge of pulse code modulation technique, which is PCM, to analyze the complex problem of analog to digital conversion and, and digital signal transmission. So we are given a range of technical specifications and limitations for analog modulating signal, sampling rate and sampling bit for PCM encoding and decoding system. And we need to analyze the resulting PCM signal characteristic under different scenarios and propose a solution to recover the modulating signal from the decoded PCM into the receiver system. So first of all, this is our PCM block diagram using Simulink MATLAB, which is here we have sampling pulse signal, we have modulating signal, we have sample and hole, encoder, integer to bit converter, bit to integer converter, decoder, sample in hole 2 and also the analog filter design. For part A, there are two scenarios which is scenario 1 is sampling sample frequency is 2 fm and n bits encoded PCM data use of uh, is 4. For scenario 2, the n bits encoded PCM data is 8. So this is uh, the information that we already bring out. Martin's signal equation is equal to 5 sine 2 pi 100t. So Compared to the uh, formula, which is amplitude, you can know here is 5 volt, and FM, which is a modulating frequency, is 100 hertz. As been asked here, the sampling frequency for scenario 1 is 2 FM. So FM is 100 hertz, so we multiply by 2. So our FS values is two, uh, 200 hertz. This is the uh, formula or the values that we will insert uh, into the block parameters later to run the simulation for scenario 1. So the NBX encoded PCM data we use for scenario 1 is 4. So this is our PCM block diagram simulating MATLAB. So here we already set the amplitude is equal to 5. Here is 1 over 200. Okay. And the modulating signal, the amplitude is 5 and frequency is 2 times 5 times 100 which is the, F. the carry frequency is constant. Alright. And then the encoder, the bit is 5, bit is 4. Same goes to integer. Alright, the decoder also. So here for the analog filter design, uh, due to the, it is the low pass filter. 
So it passes signal with a frequency lower than a selective color frequency and attenuate signal with frequencies higher than the color frequency. Thus, uh, the value for color frequency that our group has chose uh, and set up is 150 Hz, which the value must higher uh, or pass 100 uh, Hz due to the FM values, but lower than or eliminate 200 Hz, which is uh, referred to the sampling frequency. Next, after we run. So, this is a simulation result for scenario 1. Uh, and it shows the difference in maximum uh, amplitude or peak between input waveform which is the pink color and also uh, the output waveform which is the blue color uh, when the sampling frequency is 200 Hz by using 4 bits and both waveforms also have a difference in phase so here we can say that uh, the two waveforms are out of phase due to the output waveform did not reach the maximum amplitude which is 2.0 uh, which is here we can see the maximum peak is 2.656 and zeros value out of phase at the same time and the output waveform also has shown a flat line here uh, from 0 seconds to 0 1 3 seconds due to the signal propagation delay and this is for the scenario 1 next we will go to the we will set up the block parameters uh, for scenario 2 which is we just uh, change the encoder decoder and also bit and integer converter into 8 bits and then we click run so this is the result of the we run for scenario 2 which is we uh, change the n bit encoded PCM data into from 4 bits into 8 bits so here we can see uh, the simulation result for scenario 2 shows the difference in uh, amplitude or peak also and also the phase uh, the output waveform also shows a flat line from 0 to 0 0.12 second due to the signal propagation delay and we can see here the difference between scenario 1 and 2 we can observe the difference in time taken for a signal delay propagation between both is to less than the 4 bit and also here the, the Reasons why the resultant recovered monitoring signal did not get uh, the same as the monitoring signal is because that the frequency of undersampled signal will be reflected about Nyquist frequency. So in this scenario, 200 Hz means uh, the, that Nyquist frequency is about 100 Hz only. And that is not enough to record signal origin which is 200 Hz uh, correctly. So it is only 100 Hz uh, distributed. So that's all for part A. Next for part B, I'll pass to my friend. Thank you. Assalamualaikum to doctor. So my name is Muhammad Shafiq bin Muhammad Zainuddin. My matrix number is DEE uh, 190061. So today I will present about uh, scenario 3 and scenario 4. So basically in our activity, so our frequency is 200 Hz. And then we choose the value for the FS is larger than 200 which is 400 and then we get the frequency sampling frequency is 628.3185 radian and for the sampling we use uh, 1 over 400 and for the NB encoded PCM is we choose 4 so a, di a difference is maximum amplitude peak between input waveform modulating signal and the output waveform the resultant recovered modulating signal when the sample frequency is 400 Hz by using 4 bit. Then we, we get uh, the output waveform is 0 0.06987. So for the scenario 4, same as uh, scenario 3 but the difference is n bit encoder which is uh, PCM data which is we use 8. And the difference in maximum modulating signal and the output waveform the resultant recovered modulating signal when the sampling frequency is 400 by using 8 bit. So the output waveform also has shown a flat line due to signal propagation delay for the first 0 0.06599 seconds. So we go to the uh, simulink. So basically this is our simulink. So for the scenario 3, uh, we use the period uh, 1 over 400 and then the result for the scope 
we run and then we get this for the uh, scenario 3 and for the scenario 4 uh, we just add uh, 8 bits for the decoder and then our filter analog we use 2 times pi times 150 and the, uh, the output result is like this so this is the input and the purple is the output okay that's all for me thank you Hello everyone, my name is Nur Lamia Imanina Binti Nasra with the matrix number DE190034. For part C, sampling for MT is lower than the minimum required according to Nikois. For scenario 5, sampling frequency is must be lower than 200 Hz. So for the new value FS, we choose 170 Hz. For sampling frequency in radian is the same 2 pi. Time 10 and the sampling period for TS is 1 over 170 and the n-bits encoded data will be for 4 bits. So using MATLAB, Simulink, after drawing the circuit and inputting the new value, period will be 1 over 170 and the bits will be 4 bits. After that, we will grab the result for input sampling signal, sample signal, quantized signal, and encoded signal, and also for the data scope. Uh, in scenario 5, it shows the max amplitude of the input, the pink one, and the output waveform, the blue one. When frequency is 170 Hz by using 4 bits, it shows different in phase that is output phase is that is out of phase. Due to the output did not reach maximum peak and zero value at the same time. It also show the flat line due to the signal propagation delay. So it show the comparison in part A and part B because the value is lower than 200 Hz. Okay, that's all for me and thank you. Assalamualaikum and hello to our lecturer, Dr. Ezri. My name is Muhammad Izzat Mirza bin Muhammad Yusuf, metric number CE200203. And for this video presentation, I want to present about part D and how to do it in MATLAB. So, the part D is with initial setting part B, what happens if we change VM? equal to 15 volt and vm equal to 0 0.5 volt so by this statement i decide to make four different scenario which is scenario 6 until scenario 9 for scenario 6 until 9 we change at a sampling pulse signal fs so we change the amplitude by 15 volt for scenario 6 and 7 for scenario 8 and 9 we change to 5 0 0.5 so the, peri the period is 1 over 400 and the pulse width is 50 so we change the modulating signal for 15 volt and the frequency is 2 pi multiplied by 100 so we change the encoder to for scenario 6 and 7 which is 15 volt and for scenario 8 and 9 which is 0 0.5 volt same to the decoder 15 and 0 0.5 volt uh, the bits also change based on scenario which is 8 and 4 so at the last we get the graph so lastly 
for scenario 6 and 7 they are uh, different in maximum amplitude which is input waveform modulating signal and output waveform so that's all from me thank you so now i'll continue for suggestion part which is for the suggestion part we need to suggest what should we do to make sure the resultant recovered signal is same sim or similar to the molting signal so here our group has decided to uh, add a uh, gain parameter. So this is our PCM block diagram after adding gain parameter. So for uh, suggestion part, we are required to follow uh, part B, uh, part B setting. So here we use 15 amplitude and 1 over 400. Okay, same as uh, modulating signal. And the encoder we use 8 bit. Same goes to the integer to bit converter and also bit to integer converter. And then uh, this is uh, the gain. And we use 1.15 after try and error uh, to get the resultant recovered message. Same as the modulating signal. So here the result after we run. Uh, after so from the result we can see here uh, it take uh, it, ha it have the same phase which is in phase with input waveform it also have uh, the maximum amplitude or peak same as the input 14.87 volt and we also can see here by using uh, at bit you can see uh, the the signal delay propagation uh, took less less time taken uh, from uh, 4 bits which is 0 0.007035 second so for the discussion for this uh, suggestion part by adding block gain between sample and hole 2 and analog filter design and after we run uh, the simulation we got the same amplitude in phase for the result of recovered modulating signal which is M prime T uh, as the modulating signal which is MT which is the amplitude is 15 volt at time due to the function of gain itself which is to increase the power of amplitude of a signal from the input to the output part and because of our gain values is greater than 1 which is greater than 0 dB it is a defining property of an active Component. While the use of N bits encoded PCM data, which is in the simulation, N bits of 8 bits are used as the rate of 8 bits per sample, which is 60, 64 K bits per second, gives a reconstructed signal which is very close to the uh, original. So, the advantages of this system include low complexity in delay and high quality reproduction of speech. In amplitude modulation, it is the voltage level of the signal to be transmitted that changes the amplitude of the carrier in proportion. When the modulating information signal, which is a sine wave, is applied, the carrier amplitude rises and falls in accordance. So the carrier frequency remains constant during amplitude modulation. So that's all for suggestion part. Uh, from this people activity, we can conclude that uh, pulse code modulation involves important uh, principles such as sampling, quantizing, encoding, uh, pulse shaping, and decoding. Okay. PCM is a simple, a simplest form of waveform uh, coding. Okay. Waveform coding is used to encode analog signal into a digital signal. Okay. Uh, modulation is uh, modulation is the process. Uh, in which some characteristic parameter of a high frequency signal is varied linearly with amplitude of a message signal. Okay. Sampling means uh, instead of transmitting the analog signal as it is a few sample of it will transmit it and observe at the receiving side of judge the actual signal. It is used in a PCM technique wherein a continuous uh, analog signal is sampled at discrete time level quantized digitized modulated and then transmitted all the sample together convey the information of the actual signal